What's happening, folks? Back with another gaming... I'm not gonna say playthrough, I'm gonna say first attempt, indeed. I just labeled the sound file for this gaming video. Attempt 1 at Revenge of Shinobi, as you can see. We all know that's Okasa there, but yeah, it's a game for the Mega Drive, or the Genesis, as we called it. There's a story that plays, although I guess we're gonna get a little example of the gameplay first. But yeah, I want to say this is early 90s. I never had the original Shinobi game. I only had this one. I believe there's a third one as well. And I remember them being just as hard as the Ninja Gaiden games. Just a little bit more advanced with the technology. The 16-bit technology. In any case, I don't remember if I beat this. But I think unlike the Ninja Gaiden games, there's not unlimited continues. So it's like even more ridiculous. But yeah, as you can see, there's wall jumping, there's shuriken, there's bombs, there's floating platforms. Inexplicable industrial factories where colonial officers from British India somehow remain alive. And also, people get burned in the chest, thrown into lava, and killed. That's basically what we have to look forward to. It like scrolls through some pretty big paragraphs of text quickly, so at least you guys can pause when I'm watching it here and be a little more difficult. Let me move this a little bit. Okay. No, it looks weird. I like how a little adjustment like that in my brain is like, no, I don't, I can't swing with that. All right, give me my thing. There we go. 19XX. I gotta say, Zed is a pretty crappy name for a crime syndicate. Neo Zed. And somewhere, Keanu Reeves is like, wait, what? So you ninjas, you better look out. So I need to go straight to the heart of Neo Zed and get a bride-to-be for a now-deceased stealth chieftain. I don't see how that's my revenge. I thought this was my revenge, but okay. I guess I'm just one of the shinobi. <laughs> yeah, zero. I don't think so. Oh yeah, I think that's the first level track. That one comes back immediately. Well, hey, man, don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, and it's not even terrible, so come on. I mean, how could you not dance with that bass line? That feels like it could be in one of the Streets of Rage games. I suppose that's an obvious one. It's a false dichotomy, don't believe it. Oh yeah, I could get behind this one. They get funky in the Dark City. <laughs> Speaking of which, we're gonna do like a breakdance video with ninjas? Do the ninja step. Oh yeah. Oh, imagine it, like choreographed ninja breakdancing.
Yeah. We're going to probably hear this one a lot. We'll get to it in a second. Yeah, I like that too. That one's sort of like a reprise of that earlier theme. I forget what track it was. Oh yeah, we're going to hear that wah-wah quite a bit. Oh, damn. All right, that's a tune. Like, you could release that in, like, 81, and I would buy it. You know, when I was one year old. And that tells me that there's not unlimited continuous. Wow. So much to digest. All right, well, here goes the first failed attempt, surely, at Revenge of Shinobi. I remember the A button does ninjutsu, so I'll keep that in mind. Get away from me, you horrid man. Oh yeah, I want to use the sword more. How do I do that? Can I do that deliberately, or is it just when they're close to me? I did not want to throw like 10 of them at the same time, thank you very much. This is some shit, man. Look at these trained dogs, what crazy assholes. Oh, come on! And then, like, two more ninjas dematerialize with the trademark John Peter McAllister smoke. I like this floating exit sign. It makes things very clear. And also, we're always going to the right, so I'm just going to assume that's the case. Always, game. Oh, I remember this. You gotta, like... Oh, come on. Like how cheap the game is, like it shows you people a millisecond before they hit you. I'll take that. Oh wait, can I just go straight over? Oh, what do you know? Ah, that's uh, again. Go this way, why do I gotta go this way? You tell me I have to go upstairs? Isn't the goal to go to the right? We already established this game. Yeah, now what? I appreciate the shuriken, but I don't understand... Where? But where?
this game is all kinds of cheeky, I have to say. It's like back at the very beginning. Oh, come on. So wait, I have to like... Well, the fact that that one up respawns is pretty cool, but either way, this is... This does not bode well. So wait. You got sorted in the face, Samurai. Oh, come on! I mean, this game is relentlessly cheap, I have to say. Oh, thank God. Not enough, but whatever. Ooh, the music. Oh, what's up, dude? Can I do the double jump, please? The double jump is not reliable. I guess I could have used magic, but like, I basically have no way to get in tight on him, right? Like, his his massive sword, fill in your own joke here, but yeah, it makes him like, unhittable. Come on. Yeah, I guess that worked. So a net gain of one life over the course of the first round. I guess that's good. Now we're in a massive city with a Mario-style waterfall behind it. So can I step on that part? Oh my god. Wait, we've got gargoyle ninjas? I played bass for them, but I never thought I'd see them in real life.
What is that? I really gotta jump on the log, so I gotta do this log stuff? Give me another one, please. We're honestly supposed to be able to, like, double, double jump? I hate you, game. That is sadistic. That is like programming sadism. I'm honestly in disbelief at the like callous programming there. It almost did that knock you back and kill you thing. Oh my god. This game is something else. I mean, that's on me, but I still say the double jump is unreliable. And I still say putting a bomb in that box is, like, unforgivable. Why make a log rolling? It's just silly. So you literally, you don't get unlimited continued. This is hilarious. Yeah, whatever game. I'm so pessimistic about you now. And it all started with that bomb. Like, I actually got up there on the first attempt, and then it all went to hell after that. Yeah, nice wall jump there. Aquamarine ninja who just killed yourself. make it this way. What sadist also is going around putting bombs in boxes like that? Unreliable double jump. I like they give you a heart there as if it means anything. It's like one minute into the level, like 10 seconds into the level. I 
Again, unreliable. Hopefully that bomb has gone off by the time I... Yep, okay. The only thing, like, worse is if they put a time limit, which thankfully they haven't. Oh, now we're doing vertical logs? You can just go straight to hell game. I mean, honestly. They get funky in Night City, I told you. That guy was going at a crazy angle, and we got Bruce Lee out here now. I saw him. It helps a tiny bit. Although you think it would, like, fill you up, but no. can't stop me from going on the rooftops. That is where I want to be. I'm a ninja. That's where we stay. Yeah, whatever, sidearm Joe. We're at the Zed Club. Ridiculous. I guess I beat him? Like, what the fuck? Hey. Oh my god, I'm getting shot at?
Colonial Bobbies are out in force, man. And what gets me in the end is a damn bomb in a box. Yeah, new game. I like how that's an option. No, just start over, dude. I mean, the music is rocking. I'll give you that. I got, I got hit in the head with a stick grenade. Oh, that was a full one? Oh, and then I get hit in the head with the stick nade, so it doesn't even matter. I think I have two of these, right? Because I got an extra one, I know I did. I don't even know what I'm looking at, so I can't go this way, that's what you're telling me, game? Can I get this box, though? Thank you. Uh, can we not go out the door? Thank you. This is trouble. That's just an instant death. And by the way, you can't double jump in there, so like, I can't do that spray attack, because there's not like... You can only do it at the peak of your jump, and when you hit the ceiling before your peak, it's like, well... Oh my god. Perfect. Dude, this game is relentless. Oh, I gotta do the whole level over? Hilarious. Well, in a way, it's good because, uh... I was maybe gonna have to pause this game if I got, like, crazy far. Which wouldn't have mattered for you because now I know I can pause these... screen captures, so...
Still, that's no excuse for poor play, but it's like, I'm so impatient. Why am I not on the plane? Wasn't that like a separate part? Shouldn't you like continue from the part of the level that you got to? See, I was trying to like throw at the guys, but now when you do the double jump, it instantly takes you to the other side. Whereas I was just trying to spray fire those guys in front of the fence. Ten to one, my last life is lost by getting sucked out into the void. And then apparently, like, landing on a farm somewhere several minutes later. Again, you can't double jump up here. The fact that that's a bomb and not something that I would want, like an extra guy or a health, is just very telling game. Well, at least I beat the plane level before I died. Oh, so we got a boss here? Oh my god, you see how much that took off? So I gotta hit this like mother brain? It's like Krang. I gotta kill Krang? Well, show him to me again then. Oh, so that counts as a hit? is all she wrote. I died in the Technodrome. Did the game just laugh at me? The game just laughed at me. I'm stunned. Well, it is what I knew it would be, which is to say an attempt, not a playthrough. Nevertheless, we might come back and try it again. Probably not for a little while. Games like this, you gotta space out a little bit, otherwise you'll end up like throwing your computer out the window, I think. But yeah, it does remind me, that just old school games, 80s and 90s, just unforgiving, ruthless. Well, anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know uh, if you ever played any of the Shinobi games. As I said, this was the only one I remember playing a great deal. I remember maybe playing the third one, like on a rental, but yeah. So if I have any chance of beating a Shinobi game, this would be the one. And as you can see, it's not likely. Although I'm better than this guy. Let me just run into death. Ooh, maybe I should be doing that. I mean, the other one gives me a few extra hits, but surely that killed him? No, it didn't even do anything? Okay. 
The game is way worse at itself than I am at it, and what does that tell you? Well, in any case, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.